All right, man. So you got a new look. How are you liking it so far? It's been awesome, man. I feel like I really fit here. It feels good. I was telling my wife the other day that it just feels like me, which is which is awesome. You know, all the guys have been great. Staff's been awesome. Got rid of the beard. And it's been what eight years since you uh, last did not have a beard. I know. I'm getting used to this uh, this baby face. I'm starting to get used to it. I think my wife is too. So it's it's good. Yeah, I don't mind it. You also had like the mustache a little bit last I year did. too. I've rocked the mustache. Um, I've had a few requests for me to bring the mustache back. So who knows? Maybe I'll whip out the mustache at some time yeah, this that'd year. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Get it going. But none of the guys have a mustache, so I'd be like the only guy with the mustache. I didn't know if I wanted to whip that out right off the get-go. It was a few years back when they were going on a rally. They actually, uh, like a few of them, had had grown out a mustache, and it was kind of cool. Made some headlines. So nice. who knows? Maybe if you guys go on a roll this year, they'll they'll bring it back. All right, there we go. <laughs> I like it. The maple leaf tattoo on your forearm. When did you get that? And did you know that that was the tattoo that you were gonna get on your arm? Well, I got it in, I think it was 2013. I had always wanted to get a tattoo. I just didn't know what of. And I saw a tattoo online where someone had this like same tattoo, but they had a different picture on the inside. And I kind of came up with the idea of getting the same thing, but getting the picture that kind of meant something to me on the inside. So the inside here is uh, just kind of like a, you know, scenic photo of, uh, this is Boyer Island right here. And it's uh, where my family has a cabin. Um, I spent a lot of time there as a kid. So we just had a great time there. It just reminds me of family and kind of where I'm from. It sounds like you knew that when you would be getting a tattoo, then, then that would be the one that you'd be getting. Yeah. And that added to your nickname. It did, yeah, like that, ca that came a few years later. Um, one of my coaches, Tim Bogar, told me that I needed a nickname. And uh, he, he said, oh, why not Big Maple? And he must have told our head coach because he said it in an interview after a game and it just, it took off. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were uh, calling me Big Maple from then on. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind it one bit. Not only do you have the, the new look and you're in the pinstripes, yep. but in New York, people love pizza and you're a big pizza guy. Growing up, you had Friday night pizza? Yep, Friday night pizza. Every uh, every Friday night we'd do pizza and it was my favorite night of the week. <laughs> what type? So I'm usually like a pepperoni guy. As I've gotten older, I've liked to add like onions and green pepper to it. But I mean, I'll try, I'll try all kinds of stuff. I, I enjoy it. I try to not eat it too much now that I'm really trying to pay attention to my nutrition, but uh, it's definitely my favorite cheat day. Do you have any uh, any spots in the city that you want to hit? In the city, you know, the only place that I've been shown so far that I really enjoyed uh, was Ruby Rosa. Uh, one of uh, my wife's friends took us, to, took us there, and I've been there a couple times now, but I'm sure there's countless uh, good places to get pizza, so I'm gonna have to uh, do some research, maybe get some uh, tips from people on where to have my cheat day meal. What would you say is the one thing that you're looking forward to most about experiencing New York, experiencing the East Coast, because you've never been on the East Coast or lived on the East Coast really, so. Yeah. I think for me, it's the fans at the stadium, like how passionate they are. I love it when you know, I'm playing in a game Home or road, really, it doesn't matter if they're cheering for me or not. I love the energy in the stadium when people are fired up and passionate about the game. It just, it makes it so much fun. And um, that's one thing that I think New York is gonna bring more than anywhere else, is just these passionate, good baseball fans. I can't wait to be playing in front of those people all the time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great experience. One guy that I'm really looking forward to meeting in person, I've talked to him on the phone once before, is, uh, is Andy Pettit, because he was one of my favorite pitchers growing up, if not my favorite. Him and Randy Johnson were my two favorite guys, and uh, I got to talk to him on the phone, I think it was a couple of years ago, um, because Robbie Cano kind of hooked us up together. Mm -hmm. And got to ask him a few questions and whatnot. He texted me when I got traded over to the Yankees and said, told me he was fired up and he'd see me in spring training, and it's gonna be awesome to be able to shake his hand and. You know, talk to him about being a Yankee and how he handled it and all that stuff. Get some good advice there. So, really, uh, really looking forward to that. Wow. So, one of your favorite players growing up ended up texting you, and you guys have been texting back and forth, and you're going to get a chance to meet him and spend like quality time with him. Yeah, that's going to be that's awesome. Like, yeah, that's like a dream come true for totally like a young James, right? I know. I mean, it's amazing to think like I'm actually getting a chance to like sit down and talk to this guy. 
I think a lot of people I don't think get that opportunity to sit down with their you know childhood you know hero or like the guy they love to watch or you know wanted to be um, and I and I'm gonna get the chance to do that which is which is awesome.